Hey guys, was there a great call on the match in this one was the last year's uh, 214 or Rockin' Fields at Tim Miki, most fair. I think last year's Rockin' Fields was, was a, a good year because I think it was that, that fateful Saturday on our attempt to uh, jam such that you're truly uh, took part in. You know, I always uh, wanted to do that a long time. It would um, perform on the jam sessions last year, and it was uh, so surreal. And you know, to other people's point of view, I thought, oh, he's nervous, he's never gonna pull it, pull it off, you know. I felt right in my wheelhouse. I was just like, <sighs> that wasn't the f first time I performed in front of people. It was when I was, uh, I was still in, going to school in church church. They had this uh, some kind of uh, thing that they were planning, and I performed old some old. Old box boys classics. It was just something that I wanted to do because I always say music has been, it's always been my calling card. And when I uh, moved to York and when I was going to school here at the regional, when they had uh, they had this uh, Christmas concert that. Uh, Ridge High School staff in town here was uh, flying at school and you know I saw a little one log tune you could see the little thing goes to be if you see a little log tune you gotta, you gotta go for it and I performed uh Street Town a couple acoustic where you wanna call Lincoln Park Jeezy's Melbourne no, Encore to me That was pretty, it was one of those best moments. But when I performed at last year's 2015 Rock and Fields during the one of their team sessions, where I performed uh, some old school Three Years Grace, I did uh, pain. I was just like right in my wheels, and I can only imagine in the crowd. I'm going to perform with the series we're staying in the crowd of Jim and the old thoughts of like awesome job. I was just like kind of finished up doing the uh, chalk outline. That to me was the uh, best moments ever. But it was a top of it actually can be banned to experience in person. I felt like I was in cloud nine. I was, I was just so overwhelmed. I was like, wow. I will have to say my biggest accomplishment going back to 2012, Rock in the Fields, my first year. Being, uh, being part of the whole organization and uh, they were doing like this uh, rock off thing like they have all these uh, upcoming bands and you judge for their, for their rock off and I was chosen and I just I was just wow this is something that I never thought in a million years I able to get to do and I had done it as